Maraba means welcome. Today we're exploring the National Cultural Center in Tamale, Ghana. Very cool place. Let's check it out. I notice these spots are popular up here in the northern region. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Yes, the, the smokes, they are, they are original from the northern part of Ghana. And then there are about uh, four, four or five tribes that are using the smoke. Most of the Dagomba, the Gonja, the Kusasi, the Nanumba, and then uh, the Moshi people, they are using the smoke. But what I'm wearing now is the Dagomba smoke, you understand? So this is what they, they wear to, to, to dance a festival called Damba Festival. Yes, so this is what we wear. And then they use uh, cotton. To, to melt them together, to make a rope. From the rope, they weave them together and it comes a, a material. Then they join them together to have what they call smoke. Are they only used for ceremonies or are they for everyday wear too? Mostly it was used for ceremony, but now it has come to an everyday wear because people love them and they feel more comfortable. And then they feel like when they wear them, they look more good, good and then also promote the culture. So people like wearing it right now everywhere, not only ceremony. Are you making fabric for smocks? Wow, it's nice. Okay, they're still practicing. Let's look around some more. Is everything here from Ghana or any of it from neighboring countries? Yes, some of the things are from the neighboring countries like Burkina Faso. Ah. Yes, we have things like Burkina Faso, things like Nigeria, but most of the things are from Ghana. This hat you're holding? Yes. Where is that from? This is from Burkina Faso. That's from Burkina Faso? Yes. Is there a particular tribe or group that it's from? From the Mosi. The tribe called Moshi. So now I've got to try it on. Okay, see that's what it looks like on you. That that's, looks good. This is called summer hat. Good for the sun. Yes. To give it nice shape. Oh, I think it looks better on you. Mm -hmm. you look better than you too. <laughs> I don't know. You look cool. <laughs> I look cool? Yeah, you look cool. I don't know. The crowd, is, <laughs> my audience is going to have to tell me. Do I look cool? <laughs> leave a note, leave a mention in the comments. Do I look cool? Should I buy this hat? Hi. What's your name? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I'll get that great smile in the video. Hello, young ladies. Hi. Hello. How are you? Okay, I love this chicken. I don't know that I'd buy it right now at least. I love this chicken. This chicken is awesome. They're between things. Ah, but the drummers are getting restless. So you've got a whole nother kind of hat there for me to try on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me show people around a little sure, bit. Sure. People would like to buy based on the symbols. So what do some of the different symbols mean? Like this elephant. Uh -huh. So elephant is a sign of wisdom. Wisdom. Yes. Elephant means wisdom. wisdom. Yeah, with this, it's a bird looking at it back. Uh -huh. So it's basically saying never forgotten your roots, your background, where you're, wherever you're coming from. Never forgotten it. So even though you're far from your family, or you have them in your heart, and you always go back to them. That's really wonderful. Yeah. I came in 2003 mm -hmm. on my first real solo trip. Okay. And I came with a half empty suitcase wow. and I left with 
totally packed with masks <laughs> and everything else. Okay. That one. Yeah, what about that one? Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite concepts. Uh, royalty. Uh -huh. Royalty in the sense of appreciating yourself. How does royalty translate to appreciating yourself? Put value to yourself. Okay. You know, as you can see, I, I achieve on a horse with mm -hmm. these people following him. They adore him, respect him, put value on him. So in the same way, you need to put value on yourself. You don't need to belong to a certain clan of people, a group of people from a rich family. Or, no, mm -hmm. put value on yourself first, and then the rest will follow. Oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. You have a hat for me to try on. Yes. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I'm going to have flat hair by the end of the day. Oh, okay. We're going to try this one. Okay. Oh, it's a little small. Small? Yeah. It'll, it'll stretch, yeah. though. And one Let me see. Let me show you this. Okay. Because they spray. Oh, a yes. little stretch it on mm -hmm. the knee. Okay. That is one way to resize a hat. Yes. <laughs> I kind of like this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It looks good. Okay, I've got another hat to buy. Hold on, huh? <laughs> yeah, but I think with personally, this is okay when you. You think this is a good style for yeah. me? Yeah. We'll see. How about one of the the baseball cap style? Man, I've got a fat head. <laughs> I have not worn a baseball cap since I was in little league. <laughs> I'm ready to give signals, you know. So um, I don't know. What do you think on that one? Um, Let me try the mud cloth style one. That, that one fits. That one fit. Still feels a little like a railroad conductor, but but at least it fits. So yeah. That or I am uh, on the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> I like that. I like yeah, that pretty that's, good. That's, that's much better. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to take votes from my viewers on all the hats. <laughs> That's the plan, is I'm going to take votes. We're going to see. This is just a little purse? Yeah. Wow, oh, that is cool. A coconut purse. Oh, those are cool. Oh, and you got some painted ones, too. Okay. I like those, just because if you just want to carry a little something. Yeah. Those are great. Amaraba means welcome. Dagbani, that's Dagbani. Mm -hmm. Amaraba means welcome. Right. Yes. In the south, I know it's a quaba. A quaba, exactly. But Amaraba. Amaraba up here. in Dagbani. Yes. Okay. These are calabashes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what calabashes are? It's a gourd. It's a gourd, exactly. Yeah. Is there this this figure? Yeah. Um. What what is that? It's just um a face of a mask. Those masses that we have ah. on top here. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we try to put it on a calabash uh -huh. for decoration in the room. So those are necklaces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, this that's a cowrie. Cowrie shell. Cowrie shell. Uh -huh. Yeah. At the time um the there wasn't um printing money, like uh -huh. paper notes and then coins, they used to um use the cowries for marketing. Okay, so it yeah, was equivalent to buying and selling. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe if 
someone buys something from you, <laughs> then you use the cowries as money. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. What about the brass pieces here? Well, this one, we bought it from someone from uh, Burkina Faso. From Burkina Faso? Yes, yes. Okay. So I don't know much about it. Uh, yes, yes. Actually, that sort of makes sense because it reminds me of something I saw yeah. in Burkina Faso many years ago yeah. when it was safer to go there. <laughs> These are coffee, coffee beans. Coffee beans? Coffee beans, yeah. Coffee, like the coffee you drink? Yeah, coffee. So how are they coffee beans? Um, that's, that's just the name. Oh, it's coffee just the beans. name. Yeah. So I can't, name. I can't dip this in a pot of boiling water and get myself a cup of coffee. No. <laughs> ah, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, I think uh, the northern ladies uh -huh. they used to put it as like a waste. A oh. Waste beans. Okay. Yeah. That's used, interesting. Yeah, put it as on their waist. I'd be lucky if that fit around my leg. <laughs> <laughs> So are all of these baskets from Ghana? Yeah, they're from Ghana. The northern region or all over Ghana? Yeah, the northern region and upper east region. Uh-huh. But mostly it, it came from the uh, upper east region. Only a few people in the north here know how to weave it. Okay. How long does it take to weave one of these baskets? Pardon? How long does it take? Actually, it will take you uh, two days or one and a half days to weave one, one bag. Oh, wow. That's a warm up song. I think we have time for one more shot. So, you sell both fabrics and finished. You sell fabric yeah. and finished product. Yeah. I should get a batik shirt. You can come for the batik class. Oh, you do a batik class? Yes. Oh. Class, so you can come for it. Uh huh. That's the stamp. That's the stamp. Yeah. And this one is the, the fabric. fabric. The batik fabric. Okay. And this one is the wax. When you melt it, on the fire uh -huh, and then the you use the stamps mm -hmm. to put inside the, the wax uh -huh. the one you have melt and then you stamp on the fabric uh -huh. and then the design which here uh -huh. will go into the fabric right the place that the stamp is will mm -hmm. be white white and the place without the, sta the, the, the stamp uh -huh. will take the next color whatever color you dye yeah, the uh -huh. color you dye Okay, I have another hat to show you. I feel a little like the Mad Hatter in this one. It's a little bit big, but it's very cool. Yeah, I mean, that stylish or what? And then there's the classic bucket hat. Yeah. Let's see. Kente, Kente style, right? Yes, that's Kente yeah. fabric. Kente fabric, yeah. not exactly a bucket hat, actually. Now that I look at it, it's not exactly a bucket hat. Yeah. Ah, oh, see, I think the style looks better on you than it does on yeah. me. <laughs> that seems to be the case. Every time I try on one, it looks goofy on me and it yeah. looks good on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
forget to vote for your favorite hat in the comments. I'm gonna let the drummers take us out. <laughs>